Hello, my name is Mark Melnichenko with the City of Phoenix Street Transportation Department. In my uh, position here as Special Projects Administrator, we're repurposing streets, working with the community, and also making a strong tie to public transit, which we haven't done over the years. So really from a day-to-day -day basis, I manage projects as well as people. What we're bringing here um, in streets is the, the growth of the bicycle program, the, the complete streets program here at the city, which is designing our streets for all users. So making our streets more walkable, bikeable, connections to transit, and generally more livable. When I was in public transit, there was a project uh, uh, called the Ed Pastor Transit Center. We worked very closely with the community on the location, on the pres preservation of a historic structure that is now adaptively reused um, in the project. Right now we have 3rd and 5th Avenue, which is a, a project here between Washington and McDowell where we're looking at repurposing the street which are one ways right now. The second one is 3rd Street between Indian School and the connection to the Roosevelt Street improvements. Both of those have a strong tie to revitalization of the areas and economic development. I think even design and art is part of this because what you present to the community um, has a bearing on what we do at the city. You want something that is able to tell the public exactly what you want them to know. You look at all the corridors, you go in, what are the existing conditions of the corridor, go to the public and come up with a concept, and then you refine it based on what's out on the street. To be able to do the drawings, the sketchings, the location analysis, you're able to see from start to finish um, the creation and um, really get a lot of satisfaction from the community as well as uh, professional satisfaction. More and more the positions um, at municipalities or agencies require or recommend um, a master's degree. Um, there are various ways to do that through sustainability, through public policy, through planning. As an urban planner, my undergrad is in design, graphic design actually, and what was interesting is my first job was in an engineering planning firm doing graphic design. Well, from there I gained an interest in urban planning and everything that, that uh, revolved around that, and then um, I went to school, ASU, and got my master's in urban planning. Uh, worked in the private sector and then moved over later um, with, with uh, the public sector here at the City of Phoenix. There's also accreditation later through the American Institute of Certified Planners. Not a necessity, but I think it's a good organization to be part of, as well as the American Planning Association. Um, both of those um, are great for information and for uh, career development and also job search. I think what's important is to be able to build your resume with really whatever, you, whatever it takes to show that you have some, some interest and some experience in the planning field. And so if you're in school, try to get an internship. Initially you're probably looking at uh, 40 to 50,000 starting, maybe 50,000, and then you can build your way up. If you're leading projects, you really want to have an outgoing nature about yourself, but that doesn't necessarily mean that um, others can't be in the field too and, and provide um, their expertise. What really uh, caught my eye in urban planning is you're a generalist. You deal with all types of things. You actually deal with engineering, land use, economic development, public outreach. You wear a different hat every day, so it's, it's a fun place to work.